Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Get Crafty. Today we are going to be making a paper wreath. So we're gonna do this out of cardboard paper, uh, or cardboard box. I'm using this that I would normally put in the recycling, but I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to be using some construction paper as well for my paper leaves that's gonna go around the wreath. Um, you can use any kind of paper that you have. If you wanna use newspaper, that's fine. If you wanna use magazine clippings, that's fine. If you have cardstock or any kind of scrapbook paper, that would be super awesome. Um, but use what you have. If you just have computer paper, you can color on it, make different designs for your leaves. Um, the other things that you're going to need, scissors for your paper, for whatever you're going to be cutting. And then I'm using some utility scissors to cut the cardboard box. If you don't have a cardboard box, you can use a cereal box. You can use anything that um, is a little bit thicker than paper. I'm also going to be using a hot glue gun. And so I've got my hot glue sticks. And I have a plate here. The plate is to help me draw the circle for my wreath. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my plate and I'm going to go ahead and trace my cardboard. I'm just going to trace my plate with my pen. Okay, plate's finished. So just be careful when you're cutting something thick like cardboard. Pay attention to what you're doing at all times. And if you need help, ask for help at home. Okay, so now I have the, the size of my wreath. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the middle out as well. So I have a smaller plate for that. And I'm just gonna try to center it. And this you really need to be careful with because you're gonna stab a hole and I don't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, wrong scissors. So now I have my cardboard wreath, and I can get rid of this stuff. Okay, so what um, what you're going to do, and I've already cut some of these, and I'll show you how to do them in just a minute, um, but I've cut out of just construction paper. I have three different colors. I have a stack of orange, I have a stack of yellow, and I have a stack of pink. And so what I'm going to do is a third of this is going to be orange, a third of it is going to be yellow and then a third of it's going to be pink and you just lay out all of the pieces and you just you glue them on so it will look something like this as you're going through um, and this is where you can be creative in the papers that you have you can watch one of my videos on making 
paper flowers and you could glue a whole bunch of paper flowers on here or maybe you just have like three little paper flowers and all of these paper leaves it's totally up to you you get to be super super creative you can do this in one color you can do it in ten colors you can do it where there's a chunk of orange and a chunk of yellow and a chunk of pink or you can do it where it's all mixed up but you get to be really creative here with your personal wreath now before I show you the um, how I did the petals I do want to give you this option as well so this is just a plain piece of white computer paper and what I have seen some people do once they get their wreath done they'll put an insert in the middle and they might write um, like Susie's room or blessed or I love my family or mercy or whatever that might be but you could do something really cute in here maybe you just want to um, use an initial so maybe you just make a big M in here or a big E in here but that's up to you you can use that you don't need to use that once we finish going all the way around I am going to use a ribbon and I just I had these ribbons in my basement so I'll probably probably use the heart ribbon and that's going to be my little hanger so once I get that done I'm just going to make a loop here like so at the top of my wreath and then I can get like a 3M door hanger and I can hang my wreath on my bedroom door. So let's go ahead and show you how to make your little petals. So all I did, I made one first. So if you just fold, because I, I like the little creases in here, I think it adds some dimension to it. So you're just going to fold, and then your first one you can just draw and see if that's what you like. So cut it out and see if that works. So if, that, if, that, if you do one and you like the size, then use this as a template for all of your others. But I would recommend, and I, I don't think you have to trace every single time because that would be very tedious um, but if you just hold your template up and you cut I think that would be helpful so that you all so that everyone is a uniform shape okay so this is where the hot glue comes in and what I'm going to do around the edges first I'm, I'm going to get the edges and the inner pieces as I go just so that no one can see that that's cardboard. And I might mark, try to mark like a third and a third and a third. And it's just eyeball. I'm gonna use my hot glue. Let's see, I'll start with my pink. Put a little dab. And you can use other glue if you don't have a glue stick. I just really like hot glue guns because they dry really quickly and the glue tends to stick pretty well. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just going to kind of go around. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here so that you don't have to just watch me do all of this. I'll pause it and then um, come back to you to talk about the rest of it. So you can see here that I have my pink finished um, and I just I went around the outside first and then I glued around the inside and then with my third row I just kind of alternated petals inside and I only glued the bottom part of the petal because I wanted to make sure that there was enough lift and fold to add a little bit of dimension I didn't want it to be flat on my wreath so I'm going to go ahead and start with my orange now and go a third of the way around and then I'll continue on with my yellow Okay, so I have finished adding color to my wreath, a uh, color that goes all the way around with my petals. Um, at this point, I've got a few extra petals I could throw in there if I found an open space or maybe an edge or something that needed covering. Um, but I feel pretty good about, about it right now, so I'm just going to leave it. And I like it like this. Um, 
But if you wanted to put something in the middle, I just put, I made something real quick to show you what it would look like. So here, if you had a little, if you did your little um, wreath and you put something in the middle of it, you could do like, you are my sunshine or so-and-so's first name, bless, love, whatever it is that you might want to put in there. But that's totally up to you. Now I want to show you the last piece. So the last piece is going to be the door hanger and I'm just going to use this ribbon that I have so I'm gonna, it doesn't even need to be that long. I'm going to cut a little strip of ribbon and I'm going to make a little loop out of it so you can see all of the ribbon. So I'm going to flip, I'm going to decide where I want my top to be and I think I want my top to be right here. So I'm going to put a dab of hot glue on I'll lay my ribbon in it, make sure the loop is up, and I'll put another dab of hot glue there, lap it over, and be careful that you don't get your fingers in the hot glue. I don't want you to burn yourselves. And then make sure all the stringy hot glue pieces are gone. And once that's dry, well, it's hard to show you now because I don't, I don't want to lift on it because it's got a because it's still wet um, but that's going to be your door hanger and that will hang right there so you would never ever know that this was made out of a diaper box or any box that you have it, do, it really doesn't matter um, but I think it's really really cute um, and it's something like don't put a nail through your bedroom door please do not do that um, but if you had one of those little sticky hooks or something like that to hang um, or if your parent wants to put, hang it for you, have a parent or guardian hang it for you. Don't try to do it yourself. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's your paper wreath. And I'd love to see your paper wreaths, um, all the colors that you'll use and how creative you'll be and the different kind of petal sizes you'll use. Um, I just remember the fold helps with the dimension um, and you can alternate colors. You can, you can just be as creative as you like on this one. All right, thank you very much for joining me. Happy crafting.